Hi, today I will show you how scripting in PropFrex on air works. First of all, all settings regarding to scripts you find at the script setting at the scripts scheduler tab at settings and options. What are important options for you? For example, the script library path where you can define a folder where all scripts are stored or you can add additional script libraries. You can also set the option allow edit running script for editing scripts when they are running. You can also define a global song history and exclude different media types from this global song history. So the global song history is used for checking all songs which are played at the whole program so that one song could not be played again within, for example, the next two hours. For this reason, you need a global song history or a song history at least. You have got also more global history options. There you can define minutes or even albums, artists or titles, which has to be between one song which is played until it could be played again. You can also say if manually added tracks to a playlist should be considered to your global song history. Last important option is playlist look ahead. At your playlist you've got the loaded sections where for example two or three tracks are loaded to the DJ players. When a script is running um, you can define how many entries after this loaded section will be stored at the playlist so that you have for example 15 more playlist entries except of the loaded section. Okay, now how does scripting work? At scheduler and libraries you find script libraries. I will show you all options at a new script. So first of all I give a file name music evening for example and I can choose a category, for example, music scheduling. Okay. So this is the script library editor. At the top of this editor, you find the name of the script and the path where the script is stored. Usually the script is stored at your app data roaming folder of PropFrex on air. Second, you've got a few settings which you can make for your script. For example, the execution mode. There you can choose between sequential and random. So at sequential, the script would be executed line by line and random, as it says, um, the script line would be choosed randomly. Also, you can define a history within the script. So only for this running script. First, you choose a number of maximum history and then you've got the same options as global song history except you can't define for example that manually added tracks to the playlist would be considered for your song history. Okay, You can also clear the history even if the script is loaded again so the history would be cleared. You can even reload your media libraries before the script is executed. For example, if you add 30 minutes before the live program is executed new music to a specific media library, I recommend you to use the reload option. You can also set different options to your script. For example, um, what if the script is run later, for example, at manual start type, then you can set, for example, suppress late start roll forward. So the script would begin at line one. Um, if you set, for example, force late start beginning, so the script would be started a few lines after line one. So with this option, you can set different behaviors for the script, for example, if the script doesn't start at the given scheduling time. You can also set a loop line, which I will explain later, and an initial track for an opener jingle, for example. So the main action which 
runs a script you define here with add, remove, fixed time elements and script rules. So with add and remove you define script lines. So each line is for example one track at your playlist. So click on add. First of all you see the number of this line. So we need the number later for example for loop line. Then you can choose a mode for example load randomly one track out of media library A. You can also load a track or a playlist. You can execute a script within a script. You can load a card wall entry randomly. You can load an AdWord slot, a news slot or even execute a comment. And you can add a placeholder container or load a folder. So one of the main function is random. And then you can define your media libraries where for example one track will be loaded randomly. You can also define a category of media libraries or even more than one library. So then one track out of A, B and hot rotation would be loaded to your playlist. With count as already said you define the number of tracks which should be loaded or even the number of playlists which should be loaded. You can also set options to this line. For example, suppress history check. Um, you can even set suppress song title update or start autoplay, stop autoplay, etc. With this symbol, you can add control comment events on this line. For example, on track played, please stop recording the out channel. Or on track stopped, please do that. You can also set a soundbed track to this line, for example, if you load uh, advertisement or news, then you can set a sound bit. Or, for example, if you load a card wall jingle, you can choose a track insert event for this jingle sh so that it would be loaded, for example, with start with next of previous track. Furthermore, if you need a filter system at your category system, for example, to load only a specific artist or to exclude an artist, um, you can choose your filter options. To show you that better, I choose only one media library. So then go to the, to the symbol. And now with this, you can with the green symbols include, for example, artists or media types, and with the, with the red symbols you can exclude specific items. With the logic AND and OR you can define conditions where with AND all conditions have to be fulfilled and with OR one condition has to be fulfilled. So I use for example OR, green symbol, to say I want only a specific artist at this script line loaded. For example, I can now choose between album, artist, beats per minute, comment, etc. You see there are a lot of options. I use it only artist. Now I can define the function. For example, begins with, I can also say equals, does not equal or even contains. I use contains for Kalkbrenner, for example. And now I can test this rule. So what would happen? Only the artist Fritz Kalkbrenner, which is at lib A, would be loaded at this line and one track would be randomly loaded out of this list. If I choose not or, you will find every single track at this library which does not contain Kalkbrenner. So you see there are a lot of more tracks you can also with double click open the PHL player to listen. So with this function you can define different filter options for your music scheduling for example. If you want to move one line use up and down buttons so then you can position a transition for example between two media entries. What are fixed time elements? Well, a script runs a specific show concept or a specific music scheduling concept. 
But PropFlex on Air doesn't know how long the single lines last. So the script would start at line one. And if every line is executed, the script would start again at line one, except you set a different loop line. So a script would run one cycle line by line and then start at line one, except you set a loop line. So you can't define uh, a fixed time element, for example, news or advertisement blocks within a script because PropFlex doesn't know how long lasts a track, for example, out of media library A. For this reason, you've got fixed time elements, which you can define within your script. And these fixed time elements regards to your show hour. So here you set minute and seconds, for example, at half. I will every hour with repeat start type fixed as time update sync if I won't if I want to have this track as playlist entry or as overlay at a single player. I can add a mode, for example, news and the news slot news xx00. I can also set account, different options and also control comments and also filter options. Okay, so this is the way how fixed time elements work. If you have a complex script with different scheduling sections and news and advertisements, placeholder, etc., it could be that after the news closer, which is a jingle, a prop frex loads a card wall entry and two jingles after another sounds not nice. For this reason, you've got script rules where you can set previous track conditions and current track conditions. For example, you add here same logic as the filter. You can add, for example, the media type equals jingle is previous track condition. And the current track condition is, for example, also media type equals jingle. So in this case, PropFrex would suppress the current track, which is a jingle. And this action would, exec would be executed at automatic jingle inserts, automatic advertisements, sequentials or random mode, card wall. You can even set at AdWords or news. And then it would be suppressed or you can also say defer this current track. So these both options you need for complex scripting. Okay, now have fun with scripts at PropFrex on air.